Well, I built another car tire potter's wheel, but I thought I'd try using a what they call a temporary or convenience tire. I had this in the trunk of my car, so uh, I got a spindle assembly that would fit that. It's a little bit lightweight for throwing. It's it's tricky. Uh, what I do is I just put a a ring of clay around here. And then I put these, I have these uh, tile pieces that I use for bats, so one after another you can throw. And for a stand, I found this real heavy cast iron umbrella stand for a sun umbrella. I don't know what it weighs, but it's real heavy. I like that better than the tree stump. This whole thing disassembles. It's real nice for doing workshops. It's not that hard to carry around. It's not really for a beginner to throw on. I mean, you can throw on it, but uh, take some practice. Let's look at the mailbox kiln. I want to keep this video short. Anyhow, I uh, I got some fiber frax uh, refractory material. There's a little 20-pound bottle. Just a quick overview of this kiln of burner. What I did was I lined this commercial size mailbox with fiber frags and uh, just cobbled up kind of a door here, a mailbox, a piece of fiber fax on top uh, for a vent, cut the vent hole with a propane torch, uh, peeking in the kiln, uh, I got a nice color going so far, uh, I want to take this up to around cone 10 if I can and uh, throw some salt in there and do a salt glaze. I've heard that this fiber frax resists salt, the corrosion, the corrosive effect that salt has on soft fire brick. You don't get that with fiber frax or so I've heard, so I'll try it out. Uh, this whole thing was pretty cheap to build, pretty simple, gets up to temperature real fast. That's it.